Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090. Here's your weather extreme video for this Saturday morning, October 28th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who is out today and tomorrow and next Saturday. So he's left me the keys to the car, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get started. Big trough of low pressure uh, moving through the central United States, moving quickly. Going to bring much cooler and windy conditions to Alabama today and over the next couple of days before flattening out early in the week. We've got a cold front moving through the area this morning. If you haven't noticed, that cold front is sort of the dam holding back uh, temperatures in the 40s to the west, some 30s uh, as you head back into northern Tennessee or western Tennessee and eastern Arkansas. Uh, rainfall this morning on the radar just before 5 a.m. showing heavier showers over east Alabama. Some lingering showers back to the west. They'll move out by late morning the Birmingham area. Uh, early afternoon in East Alabama. Some lightning uh, showing up on the uh, lightning detection networks uh, just around 5 a.m. in the Florida Panhandle up into extreme South Alabama. There may have been a flash or two of lightning over north central Alabama overnight, but it didn't amount to much. You see some flash flood warnings there along the Gulf Coast. Some heavy rainfall amounts, about three inches in those areas. Over north central Alabama, though, rainfall amounts were generally light between one half and one inch, some uh, rainfall amounts exceeding one inch shown there in yellow in places like northern Coleman County into Morgan County, perhaps up into northwestern Marshall County, and uh, back over parts of Franklin, Marion, Winston into Lamar counties, they may have seen one inch. I got 0 0.62 inches here in Vestavia. That rainfall is good news. This is the uh, Alabama drought man monitor from this week showing some abnormally dry conditions over west central Alabama. Nothing like we saw one year ago this week when uh, an extremely crippling uh, flash drought was affecting a good bit of uh, north Alabama. Here is the um, R radar uh, depiction of what we would expect to happen over the day today. You can see those heavier showers moving on out of Alabama, a few lingering showers hanging uh, over the uh, central and eastern part of the state uh, through late morning into early afternoon. A few showers showing up uh, tonight, late tonight, around 10, 11 o'clock over parts of northwest Alabama, which could signal a few overnight sprinkles across parts of the area. And it's going to be blustery and cold today, heading to Legion Field, Alabama State, Alabama A&M, uh, the big Magic City Classic football game. Fortunately, the rain will be gone, um, but I think that we'll see temperatures holding in the 40s to lower 50s with a brisk northwesterly wind averaging 10 to 15 miles an hour, occasionally gusting to over 20, and uh, that's going to make for fairly miserable uh, conditions as we head through uh, the football game today. We might not get out of the 40s in uh, many spots in North Alabama, and here we go with the winds. Averaging, as I said, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Some of those higher elevations, they might occasionally average even higher than that, uh, over 20 miles an hour. But that will make it feel very blustery. Just a good day to put on a pot of chili uh, and uh, maybe watch some college football on television if you're not heading out to the big soiree today at Legion Field. Now, these are lows tonight. Temperatures in the 30s across the entire area. I think the winds are going to stay up. Those winds during the afternoon are going to probably continue to average some uh, 10 miles an hour overnight tonight. That will preclude the chance of any widespread frost, but uh, lots of places are uh, going to get down into the uh, lower 30s, those normally colder valleys across the area. So um, we'll be watching for that. Now these are frost and freeze advisories, some hard freeze warnings uh, from the National Weather Service uh, for this morning and tonight. Uh, places like Amarillo, hard freeze warnings. Places like Hobbs, New Mexico, um, temperatures down well into the 20s. Some of the temperatures uh, this morning that I've seen over um, uh, the middle of Nebraska, like Ord, Nebraska, right here, uh, 9 degrees on a river valley right there. That is awfully chilly for late October. Now, looking at our temperatures, this is off the uh, GFS Ensemble 
over the next 16 days. You can see those temperatures. Uh, middle 30s, uh, you know, in the morning. We're probably in the middle 30s again on Sunday morning. Our best chance of frost probably coming to, definitely coming tomorrow night. Um, as those winds die down and temperatures fall into the uh, lower and middle 30s, a fairly um, decent frost expected across north central Alabama. Uh, on Sunday morning, probably again on Monday morning, we'll be watching that closely. Uh, with um, a good supply of sunshine, um, that, of course that, that 60 you see there occurring on the, the Saturday high occurring or after midnight, uh, in Birmingham will be only in the 50s tomorrow despite a good supply of sunshine climb back into the 60s on uh, Monday and Tuesday and gradually move back towards some uh, normal temperatures by the uh, middle to latter part of the week highs uh, in the 70s lows in the 50s now here's that trough lifting on out of here uh, as we head toward the early part of the week this is Monday morning uh, as we look at the uh, 300 millibar chart up at about 30,000 feet, the jet stream uh, removed enough to the north to allow that transport of really cold air to stop. And uh, we move into a little bit of a milder pattern, allowing temperatures to moderate just a bit. Now by midweek, here's Wednesday afternoon, uh, Wednesday night into early Thursday. Uh, short wave approaching from the west. Cold front tries to work its way into Alabama. Um, decent supply of moisture coming back uh, around the uh, high off of the New England coast, and that means some showers uh, moving back into the forecast for late in the day on Wednesday into Thursday. That front's going to have a hard time getting through here, though, as it hangs out over the area. This is sort of Friday night, um, potential for some, uh, you know, maybe a few showers for the high school football games. Not a really good look there. This is the look for Saturday afternoon and evening. A few showers in East Texas, of course, of note for our Auburn friends uh, as they take on Texas A&M. Uh, Alabama fans will note that hopefully the uh, cold front or the uh, showers will be pushed south of Tuscaloosa uh, by Saturday evening for their big tilt with LSU. Of course, uh, we keep an eye on Felipe in the Northwestern Caribbean. Can't really get its act together, not sure why. Um, over some very warm ocean temperatures, low wind shear, uh, but the system just has a big, broad, disorganized center. It's going to take it a while to ramp up. Do think that it probably will become Tropical Storm uh, Philippe, I think is actually the technical name, or the pronunciation of how we say it. Uh, I think it probably will become Tropical Storm Philippe as we go through the day today. Now, here's that oceanic heat content. You can see over the northwestern Caribbean, nowhere else would you have any chance for development almost at this time of year. Uh, that is very warm water and it's very deep. Uh, probably just about as uh, warm and deep as we saw for some of the bigger storms um, earlier this year. But uh, fortunately, um, this storm having a hard time getting its act together. Here's the GFS uh, for late tonight around midnight. Shows uh, 996 millibar low uh, just east of the southeastern Florida coast with some winds uh, reaching tropical storm force there on the eastern side. The impacts uh, in Florida be mainly rain. Uh, that western side, the winds will not be as strong. But look what happens. The low intensifies. It moves through the northwestern Bahamas and on out. And if the GFS is right, uh, this becomes a fairly potent little storm. That's not unusual for October. But look to the north. That uh, storm right there becomes the main storm center. And uh, we've been realizing this will be a very complex forecast over the next few days. But that will bring... Um, some rain and wind uh, to the east coast from the mid-Atlantic states through New England. High wind uh, watches are in effect for parts of Maine. Well, that's your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday, October 28th. I hope you have a great day. hope your team wins. Thank you for spending part of your Saturday with me. Join me back tomorrow morning for the next edition. Until then, I'll say have a great day and God bless. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.